Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XIII on the Mysterious JG. Uh, you've seen that when you don't sneak up on uh, Humbaba, it's a lot more difficult to defeat them. Also, when there's those Sanctum soldiers distracting you. Because they do start attacking us, you would really think they would want to focus in on fighting the uh, Humbaba. But apparently they don't. I'm going to let them deal with that one. I rather doubt they can, to tell you the truth, but... Oh, the flyers are after us. Well, you know, whatever. Oh, along with the, the soldiers. These guys haven't been that easy to defeat, actually. One of my big issues is that, uh... I, I don't seem to have bothered to put together a paradigm like Delta Attack, or... Or not Delta Attack, but, um... A paradigm where there's any healing going on at all, other than combat clinic where you've got no offense, and a sweat. safe subversion which can really slow things up too. But we didn't even break a sweat. We didn't even break a sweat. We're getting credit chips and incentive chips. It'll be a shame to leave this chapter behind in that respect because we won't be able to get them uh, with this kind of ease later. Oh, damn it, you guys! I was... Feeling nervous? <laughs> Is that why you attacked us? Because you don't want to fight us? Wait a second. I mean, it's a boy. What I was saying doesn't make sense. There's no point in repeating it in the demo voice. It's a bad habit of slamming the Y button as though that's actually making the command inputs go faster once the chain's already been put in. Dinosaur guys are fun. You can't sneak up on them, though. And, um, we've already fought this particular species of dinosaur around here. Oh, there's a... There's another treasure over here. So yeah, I'm gonna let them deal with the dinosaurs. I know we can defeat them. But it's not really worth the effort. Unless I just happen to run into one. Which I might well do. And then there's this one. There's quite a few uh, treasures on this particular area of map. There's another path that would have taken us down. This is a fairly intact cityscape here. And there's a uh, line. Proto behemoths, I believe, are actually part of the Sanctum forces as opposed to animals from the Ark, because these guys are on patrol. They don't seem to be in a panic about that guy. Which basically means that they will work together and that my life would be a little bit simpler if I could just avoid them. Oh, and here's a dead uh, Umbaba. That's interesting. The Proto Behemoth, which is a Sanctum controlled monster, was used to kill a Humbaba. It's Behemoth on Behemoth violence, folks. Hate to see it. Breaks your heart. So, there's an exciting scene. I would imagine we are not allowed to go back. There's kind of a pointless little you are cut off from going back if you wanted to thing. Oh, no, you can't go back. All right, never mind. <laughs> So there should be a save coming up here. Yeah, this game, I mean, it's got some kind of neat looking backgrounds and stuff, but... I don't know, it feels so much less alive than Spira. A lot of the details that we learned about life on Spira didn't really make a whole lot of sense, but... We did learn details, like... Cocoon, like, I don't... The game's almost over, I don't feel like I know anything about what life is supposed to be on Cocoon. Is that like crazy ass high tech auto racing and yeah I don't know like as far as them having culture and stuff I eh. Blitzball was irritating but it kind of a real great place to raise your kids up I mean a real great place to oh never mind. I um. Uh... 
Don't know if there's a point going up there. Is there treasure chests up there? Oh, it's listed as something of it's listed as kind of a point of interest, but on the in the hint book, but that's because it's a place where you can get into three way battles where you preemptive strike everyone, I guess. It's vampire hunters, A and B. What does it actually say here? Siren Park features numerous opportunities to gate crash exciting conflicts or three way battle opportunities. Yeah. I guess because it would normally take for a long time to kill those vampires that we just killed, but uh, with them both being able to be stunned like that, it's not that bad. It seems like the fun, the uh, Humbabas just had the sense not to bot, not to really pay attention to the Sanctum Seraphs. They were just uh, always on the lookout to encounter us because they could somehow sense we were the threat. I don't know. So if we were looking to grind for chrysanthemum points, I guess this would be a good place to do it. But we're not too. God damn it! No. He's just like, she's hacking away like a maniac at this guy, but no. I screwed up and got lightning killed. Fudge. That was my fault. I was actually about to switch to combat clinic, but I figured the battle was over. See, it's easy to sneak up on them in this uh, setting. It's too bad Vanilla isn't our party leader, because she could use her retarded uh, melee attack that we don't get to see that often. Let's go. Well, let the uh, vampire live for a, little, a minute, but no, we probably actually need to finish him off. He's probably still the most dangerous thing here. I don't know if that was really worth using a, a technique point for Quake, though. There's really no excuse for me taking these losses. Hardly. Hardly with the effort, man. Really, no excuse for me taking these losses, considering that I've got like this carefully crafted through off-screening setup, where I've got like um, not bragging. As a matter of fact, what I'm saying is that with this gear, I shouldn't be screw screwing up with the nimble toe boots and the sprint shoes and stuff, or the Hermes sandals. These things all grouped together, I should be like breezing through regular enemies by just killing them really, really quickly. I don't think there's actually anything really... Well, no, you've kind of got to go all over the dang place here to get all the treasures. Uh, I guess they weren't fighting anything. I should have just tried to sneak up on them. Probably isn't worth the time it's going to take to see the animation through, but... That's nah, gone now. She's going to keep attacking it even though it's got no hit points left. That's just how lightning rolls. Okay, this time I will not switch over to Army of One. Although I was damn tempted there for a second. It's Sinister Fang or was that Sister Fang? Man, why did you turn around right then? I was about to sneak up on you. Then I was trying to squeeze by sideways, but... Eat it, Vegeta! This was like a boss a couple of... You know... 
a different version of the same thing. Used to be a boss. Yes, that it. Yeah, I guess it's a, not immune to that many things, is it? it? Does have a lot of hit points, though. Okay, after I do a army of one, we're gonna need to heal. Is if it's still alive after I do an army of one, and. Uh, Bang gets a chance to do some commando damage at six times damage. Yeah, mind, it's not going to be alive long enough to hit Bang again, probably. Thanks for looking after me, mate. We got an electrode from that giant plant, but it was a giant plant robot, so that all makes lots of sense. I thought for a minute these were regular people, but they are just female uh, bad guys. And a peripheral vision kicked in at the last possible second for these ladies. Man, they like they do like their buffs, don't they? that I really need to be using Army of One some of the time when I am, but it's just cool now that I finally got it after building up this whole speed build. Those Inquisitrixes uh, didn't last too long. And they dropped perfume, which is a really good item to sell. Uh, there was a treasure chest here, wasn't it? Oh, here it is. I thought I saw a treasure chest. I got six particle accelerators and power converters. Now, if we head down, you can look around here and we see we're in some kind of park. This guy's like, hey, just watch you beat up those uh, cops with the crazy shades. Pretty cool. Yeah, good idea. We'll go there immediately and uh, probably encounter lots of tough bosses. Thanks for the help, big man. Are we gonna? Those are. That's a separate thought. Oh, damn it! I wanted to avoid you, buddy. You could have lived, but mm, this is what you want. We killed enough of these to know their weaknesses. Yeah, fire and, or water and ice, I guess, for whatever reason. Keeping on here. What the hell was that? It's like a water treatment plant just popped out of the ground. Libroscope, that really wasn't worth the trouble. Damn it, I don't want to fight these guys. But I do need to turn this corner to get another treasure. Two blaze rings, which I will most certainly not use, so maybe I shouldn't bother with it either, but you never know when there might be something important like an iron bangle that we're gonna miss. Damn, these guys have all sorts of buffs applied too. There's some kind of buff battle royal going on there. Or a 
bombs are not that easy. Susceptible to poison. Nah. They have these in-depth uh, information on all these people, but they don't really tell us anything about the monsters other than their actual battle stats. I mean, we don't get to find out about the mating habits of the Orberons, you know, or... What do they like to eat other than your face? Got a lot of chrysanthemum points for that, though, it seemed like. Oh, these things are gonna take forever to kill. At least we got to sneak up on them. We didn't sneak up on him. I thought we snuck up on him. That's no fair. They don't really seem to be that dangerous. They just take forever to defeat. I got some actual use out of Army of One here. Hopefully I won't, because it'll be almost dead by then. So I'll probably be better, be better off stealing additional damage. Target's a target. And a Walmart to Walmart. I could be using uh, buffs against it, but... Vanille just kind of conked over there for a second, then jumped up and was like, "Yay!" Because of whale, whatever the hell that status that causes. Time for another approach. Time for more of the same, really. Break the heal, otherwise, yeah, pretty much time for more of the same. Man. Whale of the Banshee slash Vampire slash over the big stone looking thing. Oh, we got five stars, but man, it felt like it took forever. Okay, so one of you? No, I don't think so. Not if I can help it. There's a treasure chest up here someplace. I'd like to avoid these guys, but I can't. Gotta do something to stagger them before it wears off. Oh, well. That was too slow. Actually, what we should do is um, work on the Sanctum guys that are still fighting the Vampire. The Vampire Warrior. Vampire will take a while to kill, but it's not that dangerous. So it's okay if we take out the Sanctum guys first. Although, I had intended to leave one of them, but I kind of messed it up. There we go. And I was just getting started. Just starting to enjoy. I just starting to enjoy myself. We got an incentive chip. Probably not from the vampires, but. I'm um, not sure I'm heading the right way. 
Oh, okay, this is where we kind of came into this area. So this treasure chest, that treasure chest that I see on the, on my diagram is over here. Excellent. We got one more to get in this area. And we got to rescue this lady. Hey, lady, can you hear the wind blow? Maybe. No place left to run. You are uh, dressed like an idiot. Just saying. Get past this thing. Okay. There's a lot of vampires there. So I think I've got to get over here to get another treasure. I think there's a treasure past these guys that I'm gonna have to fight, so so be it. Lightning, so I thought this would be working. Damn, I am in. Lightning's in real trouble. What the hell? They are all just constantly killing lightning. Nobody else is getting attacked at all. I figured this was like an area of attack, it would hurt more than one of them. Maybe I just need to listen to uh, the auto chain. Yeah, the auto chain would probably be doing better as far as like actually moving the stagger meter of some individual up so they could be juggled. Eat this, eat that, eat this, eat something up. I became stubborn for a second. Okay, I'm just reading hint book. It's suggesting you grind here. I'm not going to bother, although it's not a bad place for it. You certainly do get, uh... I, mean, I guess maybe in theory I should. Maybe I should, uh, keep the save and reserve around here. A champion's badge. No, I'm thinking of uh, underdog. Not the champion. Oh, apparently, whatever it is, I already had it, because it's not at the bottom of my list of stuff. I'm curious what it does. There it is. It, uh, victory TP charge. Yeah, forget that. So, we got to a treasure, but not to the end of the area, GG. So, what are you doing putting your map away? I know how to get out of here now, though. But yeah, this is recommended as a good place to uh, to grind. This battle here is going to be something that would be best avoided. Damn, these guys are faster than they look. But we got out. Are these guys fighting each other? Yeah, I think they're actually fighting each other. Yes, 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 yes. I guess. Oh, 
I made a command decision that the tyrant is a bigger pain in the ass. So they're both pretty big pains in the ass. The tyrant kept summoning crap when we fought it before. That was a while ago, of course. Is she lo Is that Vernal Harvester getting launched around anyway? Oh, I should have used the Army of One on it. We uh, shit! It, it almost killed lightning while I was uh. Look at me. Keep a cool head. Don't lose your head. Make a mystery. Damn it! It killed. Thing can kill lightning. Good. Nobody's <laughs> business. No <laughs> fang keeps spazzing out on it. It doesn't care. I guess we should have listened to Vanille and stayed away. Forget it, I can't bring myself to stay away. We've got to crash that party. Okay, so perhaps uh, at this point in the game, the Tyrant is no longer the more dangerous of these two guys. Though it's sending out Forge Blades. I mean, that's, I don't like that. It makes things take forever. You are the loser. I'm perfect. I'm Mr. Perfect. So it's little it's quick stagger. I mean when you get a preemptive strike you get an extra short stagger thing it's set up. And it has already worn off, that's understandable. So we just gotta stagger him again and we got this shit. He does not seem to be, like, going crazy about killing lightning, which is nice. Although Vanilla's seen better days now. Now Fang is in trouble. Okay, don't let that, uh, hard work on that gauge go away. Turion Blade might end up killing Fang, which would be annoying, but... Yeah, it did. We've already established that there's no point in fighting the Centurion Blades because it just keeps summoning more. Apparently the Centurion Blade... Okay, so what is that a camera shot of? Is, is Fang's corpse just below camera? Transformer. More than meat. Oh, I think this is the actual place we're supposed to leave. I got all turned around. I thought we had to go one more turn. Actually, should have just ended the video there, to tell you the truth, but, um... And yet, so lame. We'll find another way in. There's no time for that. Oh, glowing shoulder pads. She's like neon fit Finlay. With the one shoulder pad. He used to wear half a set of shoulder pads at WCW. Before he got a leprechaun. Is this some kind of boss? Like, uh... Demon Wall? Gate catch a beat? Hero? Pretty lame. All oh, these losers. Just to prove that we're losers, we're gonna fly around in space motorbikes. No? Hey! <laughs> Where you been? <laughs> Guys! It's an entire army of Poochie from The Simpsons. So Snow, you're a Do you like my Zeno, boots? Huh? Yeah. Good times. Then why didn't you tell us? And uh. Why the hell didn't you? Why is she us? wearing like? Stockings with some kind of yeah, strip at the we've top. Been waiting. And Us and the rest of the purge fugitives. Is that just like how she dresses? <laughs> <laughs> but 
Damn, <coughs> those pulse foul C sure know how to pick them. <laughs> and yeah. I'm gonna kick them there. Out of all the idiots <laughs> in the world, they choose this one. <laughs> hey, now wait just a minute here. <laughs> That's wit. <laughs> I am your fearless leader. You're not supposed to laugh at the boss. Nobody laughs at Springsteen. <laughs> oh. oh. Just like old times, huh, boss? Don't you worry. We'll take care of the civilians. I'm and you them. concentrate on saving Cocoon. We all will, together. Hey, wow, it's someone lamer than me. I don't know which of them that was, Hope or the kid with the goggles. <laughs> no. What's hey, up, Goggle Hope? Kid, Hope's gonna replace you, you. sorry. Hi, I'm some kind of weird space hooker. Seeing hope in this game is making me oddly want to play Final Fantasy 13 2 despite all the mocking I've done in this game. Just because hope comes across a little better. And it doesn't have as much of any altar. Oh, he's getting ready to start the concert, folks. He's gonna bring his hand down, then turn around. It's gonna be awesome. More cinemas? I'm waiting for a chance to end the video. I forgot I could do that. Alright, folks, uh, the cinemas won't stop coming, but uh, that's not going to stop me from ending the video when I want to, folks. I'm the Mysterious JG. When we come back, um, well, uh, we're on the last page of maps for uh, Act uh, 12 in my uh, strategy guide thing that I got, so we got to be pretty close to the end. I'm the Mysterious JG. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, when we come back... Uh, one, maybe two videos, and uh, we'll be done with Act 2 and ready to go into the 13th and final act of Final Fantasy 13. 13 acts of Final Fantasy 13. Coincidence? I don't know. But uh, next time, more funsies. Bye-bye.